This video will cover the topic, Solving a Rational Equation that Simplifies to Linear, Like Binomial Denominators. To solve a rational equation with like binomial denominators, we first rewrite the equation without fractions by multiplying both sides by the denominator, and then solve the resulting equation for x. Let's break it down. Consider the following example. Find the value of x when 4 plus 8 over the quantity x minus 3 equals 2x over the quantity x minus 3. This equation involves several rational expressions. What is a rational expression? A rational expression is a type of fraction that involves polynomials in the numerator or denominator. For example, the fraction 8 over the quantity x minus 3 has the polynomial x minus 3 in the denominator, so it is a rational expression. Also, the expression 2x over the quantity x minus 3 is a rational expression. The rational expressions in this equation all share a common denominator, x minus 3. Because the denominators are the same, we can rewrite the equation without any rational expressions by multiplying both sides of this equation by that common denominator. So we'll multiply both sides by x minus 3? Right, and now our equation becomes the quantity x minus 3 times 4 plus 8 over the quantity x minus 3 is equal to x minus 3 times 2x over the quantity x minus 3. Should we distribute x minus 3 on the left side? Yes, exactly. This leaves us with 4 times the quantity x minus 3 plus 8 times the quantity x minus 3 divided by the quantity x minus 3 is equal to the quantity x minus 3 times 2x divided by the quantity x minus 3. At this point, we can simplify 8 times the quantity x minus 3 divided by the quantity x minus 3 to 8, and we can simplify the expression the quantity x minus 3 times 2x divided by the quantity x minus 3 to 2x. This leaves us with the expression 4 times the quantity x minus 3 plus 8 equals 2x. Now our equation is written without any fractions, so we can solve for x. To eliminate the parentheses, we'll use distribution again. Our equation can now be rewritten as 4x minus 12 plus 8 equals 2x. We solve for x using the following steps and find that x equals 2. How do we know if we found the right answer? Good question. We can check our answer by substituting 2 for x in our original equation and checking if the equation holds true. So we would rewrite this equation as 4 plus 8 over 2 minus 3 equals 2 times 2 over 2 minus 3 and then simplify? Right. When we do this, we can simplify 2 minus 3 to negative 1 and 2 times 2 to 4, giving us the equation 4 plus 8 divided by negative 1 equals 4 divided by negative 1. 8 divided by negative 1 equals negative 8, and 4 divided by negative 1 equals negative 4. So this can be further simplified as 4 minus 8 equals negative 4. If we simplify the left side of the equation, we find that negative 4 equals negative 4. Right, and since negative 4 does equal negative 4, we know that when x takes the value 2, our original equation is true. So, x equals 2 is indeed a correct solution for this equation. It's important to check our answers when dealing with rational expressions, because sometimes we'll find that when we substitute the value of x back into our equation, it makes the denominators of the rational expression 0, and thus it is not a valid solution. Can you give an example? Sure. Consider the following example. u over the quantity u minus 4 minus 6 equals 4 over the quantity u minus 4. If we want to solve for u, we can first multiply both sides by u minus 4 to eliminate the denominators, resulting in u minus 6 times the quantity u minus 4 equals 4. Using algebra in the same way we did before, we can find that u equals 4. If we substitute this into our original equation, 
we find that 4 over the quantity 4 minus 4 minus 6 equals 4 divided by the quantity 4 minus 4. Since 4 minus 4 equals 0, this simplifies to 4 over 0 minus 6 equals 4 over 0. Since we cannot divide by 0, the value u equals 4 is not a valid solution to this equation. And so we find that there is no solution to this equation. So to solve a rational equation with like binomial denominators, we first rewrite the equation without fractions by multiplying both sides by the denominator, and then solve the resulting equation for x. We can check our answer by substituting the value of x back into the original expression. You got it. Nice job.